522, February is National Time Management Month. So how are you doing staying on schedule during the pandemic? 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is live in Spartanburg with expert advice on managing your time. Good morning, Christine. Oh yeah, hey, I'll answer that for you. Not well. <laughs> I'm not really staying on task many days, but we're here for a little help, right? We're so glad. Janice Charay, she is a mindset coach. We're right here in Spartanburg, and Janice has been giving me such helpful information. During the pandemic, I'm sure you've been hearing from quite a few people that have been struggling, even at very least, just with a change in schedule. What are people saying to you? Yeah, so they're really trying to just manage how do, how do they do their time now. Um, for a lot of times, moms are at home, oh. working from home, and sometimes if their kids are virtual, they're dealing with how to be how to be the parent that helps their kids <laughs> with virtual, but also tend the meetings for work and things like that. And it's just a different dynamic, even for those who work from home. They're trying to figure out how to not be lazy in that day and just spend that day inside, how to meet those fitness goals that they may have. Yeah. So. It's a, and I tell them a lot of times, it's just a perspective shift instead of- What is that? So instead of looking at how they are managing their time, I tell them to look at how they can invest in that time An in a day. An investment. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, you know, a lot of time, time is limited, but it's sufficient to get done what we must get done. And so I have them make those lists. What are your must get done lists? What are those things that you want to get done? So there's two separate lists and we need to tackle the musts before the wants. That's okay. exactly right. Listen, Janice is going to teach us how to make this list exactly what it's going to look like we're going to be with you all morning guys do not go anywhere you're going to learn something today we've got her website here on the screen as well we will put at wsba.com back to you producers that manage your on-air time so you at least we have that going for you christine thank you <laughs> next on carolina thank morning you. a familiar driver with a new number is the man to beat in sunday's daytona 500 we'll